Okay, so hi everyone. So today for the new step of the Fly for the Earth project, we are in Denmark with a lady who is an um, expert in community power and uh, will uh, speak uh, about community power. So mm -hmm. hi, uh, lady. Hi. So can you first present us what is community power? Well, community power is a type of uh, local ownership okay. of uh, renewable energy installations where the purpose is the common good of the community. Okay. So basically the idea is that you take the benefits that you can gain from the renewable energy installations and then you in reinvest those benefits into the needs of the community. Okay, so it's uh, no longer the, like an industry or a businessman who will invest in the like a wind turbine, but it's more the community who work yeah. on this. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So then the money can be used for many different purposes, of course, because the communities are different from place to place okay. and country to country, but it can be for rural schools, it can <laughs> okay. be for some health centers, it can be for promoting the main economic activities of the area and yeah there are many different purposes and after uh, is there um, the community because for some project of uh, renewable energy like big wind turbines yeah. sometimes there are protestation against mm -hmm. uh, against this uh, this construction of wind turbines yeah uh, is it different when it's a community power and do you have concrete example yeah, there are examples of that. We can see that in Denmark and in many other countries in Europe, there is a increasing protests against okay. the wind turbines and also other types of renewable energies, uh, mainly biogas could be the second one, but there are, have been some cases against solar photovoltaic as well and it okay. could happen to other types of renewable uh, installations in the future. So we have seen and we think from the research that we have done that community power could be the key to address these uh, problems in the local areas. Okay. And we have some examples around uh, Folke Center. One yeah. of them is a very well known uh, Videsane case that won a prize in 2012. But there is also another one in Hansel. Okay. It is very similar to the case of uh, Videsane, okay. actually. But here the project was bigger okay. because instead of just having three wind turbines, they wanted to install nine wind turbines. Okay. And we did a rather uh, thorough analysis of the case together with uh, Olberg University. And there we found out that uh, it was not just a case of acceptance of the wind turbines, but that the wind turbines were welcomed. Okay. by the people in the town because they knew that they were very important for the harbor project as it was going to be partly financed by the wind turbines okay. and the harbor is their life basically okay. so Understood. yeah okay so and yeah and then so there are some other mm, cases but i mean yeah so when it's community uh, community power it's uh, yeah. the acceptance the acceptability of the wind turbines wind turbines or other renewable energy project are uh, it's higher, it's higher. Yeah. because okay. when, we, when we integrate the wind turbines or other renewable energies into the um, priorities or the objectives of the communities beyond just having cleaner energy and we use them for something that will add value to the communities, then they are not anymore those ugly machines that yeah, will be okay. installed in front of my house. Okay, so. I understand. Okay. Yeah. okay, so thank you very much, lady, yeah. for this uh, very <laughs> interesting <welcome. laughs> subject. <laughs> and uh, see you soon for a new interview of Five of the Earth Project. Uh, it will probably come away, <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs>